But seriously, this is the most effort I've seen you put into a third day. What's changed? I don't know, bud. I think she might be the one. Might finally be time for a rat brat to settle down. <laughs> Maybe even be a dad? Brad? If you're ready to go the distance. Oh, believe me, we've gone the distance plenty of times. You mean having sex, right? <laughs> no, I mean being a father. Oh, now let's just see how this third date goes, all right? Besides, she's already got a kid from her last marriage. Oh yeah, who's that? Oh, there she is. Hey, come on. Mom? Dude, I can't believe she dropped you off for our sleepover after your date. <laughs> like everything's normal still. You're the other one who told me to date someone more mature. She just happened to be your mother as well. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? Didn't seem relevant. Joanne's her own strong, independent, sexually free woman. I call her that she's my mother. Well, what do you want me to call her? Mom? It's disgusting. That's disgusting? Huh. Would you look at that? Uh, time for me and Joanne to have our own little sleepover. If you know what I mean. Up top. Motherfucker! What a bud. Making breakfast from bed for Joanne. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> fuck your eggs. And fuck you. And fuck my fucking mom. Hey, you watch your language, mister. You show your mother some respect. <laughs> You're out of line. You can't take your face over my dad's face. <laughs> Me and Joanne do that together. It's a really big moment for us. For the last damn time, she's not Joanne to you. Then what is she to me? Nothing. Jamie's mom, I came out of her, you fucking weirdo. Well, guess what? Last night, I came inside of her. <laughs> no. No. We were friends. Best friends. You changed that. Aww. Sorry, champ, but I love Joanne. She's made me into a better person. I think you know that I'm good for her. She does seem happier. It's weird, isn't it? Only if we let it be, pal. Only if we let it be. Besides, I have a favor to ask of you. I'm afraid to ask what it is. I know it's unusual to have the celebrant also be the best man, but nothing that's happened this week has been usual. <laughs> <laughs> I've known the groom basically my whole life. And I've known the bride my literal whole life. So I know these people, and they both mean so much to me. So to see my mom and dad both happy is all that matters to me. Can we uh, skip to the end before I cry? Son. <laughs> Bradley, Rad Brad Roth, do you take Joanne Adams, my Literal mom to be your wedded wife. I do. And Joanne Adams, who is to reiterate my literal mom. <laughs> do you take 
Bradley, Brad Brad Roth, to be your wedded husband. I do. By the powers vested in me, by an unfair and cruel universe, I now pronounce you man and wife. Please do not kiss the bride. 